everyone, let's take a look at our next question. So it says a recent survey of the employees of the Aardvark Enterprises concerning their attitudes towards healthcare reform produced the following results. All right. Given an employee who opposes healthcare reform, what is the probability that a randomly selected worker on, is on the administrative staff? Okay, so here's the key phrase, given. All right, so I want to take a look at a conditional probability, and I'm given that somebody opposes this healthcare reform, and then I want to see what's the likelihood that they're an administrator. Because it looks like our two categorical variables are type of employee and then their opinion on healthcare reform which is great, um, but that this is how I'm gonna do this. Now, because it's conditional, I'm gonna use formula two. So formula two, the conditional or the multiplication rule, but it's the conditional probability rule, says the probability of A given B is the probability of A and B over the probability of B. So let me go ahead and swap out these letters A and B with our admin and opposes. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this is gonna be the probability of an administrator and somebody who opposes healthcare reform over the probability that somebody opposes healthcare reform. All right, so let me go get some totals that are gonna help me. So I usually will just total these out just to make sure I've got all my numbers correct. So here we go. If we do 127 plus 42 plus 31, that would get me, oh, that's nice, that's 200 and that's even, all right. Let's see what else we have going on here. Um, 13, 31, oh, that's also nice, that's 50. All right, so that would total out to 250. If we go this direction, we're gonna have 127 and 13 is gonna be 140. This is gonna get me 73. This is gonna get me 37 and 140. 73 and 37 do add up to 250, so that all checks out. Okay, so here we go. Now I wanna go figure out this and, right? Admin and opposes, so let's go ahead and here's administrative staff, right? And here's opposes, and what did they overlap? 31, so my numerator is going to be 31 out of 250. All right, let's go get, and I'll color code this, let's try purple, let's go get opposes. All right, how many folks opposed? So if we go to oppose, there were 73 out of 250. And when I do a little uh, algebra or multiplying by the reciprocal, a little arithmetic really, you're gonna see that those 250s cancel out and I'm getting 31 out of 73, which is answer A. And for me personally, once I become comfortable enough with probability, I can do this quicker. And here's what I mean. I'm gonna erase just some of the little scratches I have in here. Let me see if I can get rid of the purple here and the purple here. Okay, so just clean this up a little. So this is how I look at this and I'm gonna color code this again. I think. I want to limit myself to just the folks that oppose health, this health care reform. So what I want to do is instead of looking at this 250 as my total sample size, I want to limit myself to just these 73 people. That's why my denominator is 73, because I have gone on the condition that they oppose, right? I, I'm down, I've limited my sample space down to these 73 people. Now, of those 73 people, how many are administrators? Well, if we take a look, there were 31 of them, and that's where I get my numerator. So I can just see this from the table and get to this answer. And if you can get, if you can do that on the table at this point in your career, great. And if not, this formula will always work. And the cool thing about the formula is it works on all the methods. It'll work on Venns, tables, trees, just formula-only problems as well. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.